Shoot the guy next to Obama! Okay, but uh, what is uh, right again? Uh, you'll figure it out. But you're the president! Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> because I killed the president and I'm the president now? Precisely, my dear boy. My plan to legalize cocaine failed! Abort mission! Abort mission! Wait, so what happens now? <laughs> Shit. Alright, Marty, the judge sentenced you to one month in this community service program where you have to spend one month with an ex-convict to learn from their mistakes or something. This is all that guy's fault for making me president. Wait, who's the president now? Look at the TV. My fellow Canadians. Oh what do you mean that's not the right line? My fellow Americans. After the disgrace of this 12-year-old boy killing Mr. Barack Obama, may he rest in peace. I am now the new president, Mr. President Pretzelpuff. And, and, and my hat will stay true. You see this? The best prison ever. My hat will stay true to what I am. I will be the best prison ever. God, okay. Okay, can we redo that and then I'll get back here? And I'll... I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I was supposed to wear that hat, not him. Marty, I think it's time for you to meet Billy. Who's Billy? So, Gerald tells me you're an ex-convict. Hey, kid, you wanna smoke? Uh, you know I'm 12, right? Age don't matter. Age is just a number. I done learned that a long time ago. Sir, are you high? Are you purple? No. Ah, shit, that cocaine's working. So anyway, like I said earlier, my brother said you're next con. Uh, what did you do? Man, I did something real bad. Uh, too monstrously horrid to tell a child. I can handle it, sir. Well, we were on a flight, okay? And uh, mid-flight, I decided out of sheer rebelliousness to open the little door that said, do not open. Jesus. Fourteen people died and I had myself a decapitation. That's when they take off your leg, right? Sure. Well, what now? You wanna go to a strip club? Really? Oh, hey ma, oh my god. Susan and, uh, Marvin. Hi, it's Maria. Hey, I don't give a fuck. Buddy, where did you find these girls? Strip club. How did you get in the strip club? You're 12. You were supposed to be with Billy. How do you think I got there, stupid? All right, girls, let's go to the back room. I think Billy's waiting to make sweet love. Well, Marty, I think you had one too many shots of vodka. Shut up, bruh. My head hurts so bad. You're having what's known to be a hangover. I've had many of them in my time, so I get, uh, I'm, I get used to them. Jesus, man, it feels like 17 monkeys are just beating my head with a fucking bat. Hey, whatever happened to those two bitches you had last night? Yeah, hookers left in the middle of the night. Well, bro, I think it's time we go hit the club. Let's go. Well, doctor, am I gonna be okay? Yeah, doctor, what's the deal with Marty? Hello, sir. Well, it seems like your little brother Marty here has AIDS. <laughs> yeah. How did I get AIDS? Uh, well, uh, he developed it from some sort of... Uh, Sexual. Who did you have sex with? What? Who did you have sex with? Uh, well, you know, <clears throat> so do you remember those two girls I came home with that one night? Uh, you know, a few months back. Marty, you didn't! 
they were a little drunk, uh, mostly high, hmm. and they uh, decided to each give me a blowjob. Marty, how? You don't have a penis! Then how the hell did I contract AIDS? Sorry to interrupt, but I'm from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and I'm going to grant you one wish since you have AIDS. Such a brave little boy you are. Now, what do you wish for? I wish for the cure for AIDS. Uh, anything other than that? Like a physical item? I got it. I want to send my previous two bitches to the surface of the sun so then they can fucking die. And then my AIDS will go away. It'll be like the circle of life. Just like the Lion King. Listen, motherfucker, you're going to take a pony and you're going to like it, okay? But I'm not a chick. When did I ask? Man, I just can't believe your bitches gave you AIDS. Yeah. Oh, and uh, don't you think it's a little weird that we still hang out? I mean, I'm done with my court sentence. Why, you don't like me no more? Nah, man, you're cool as shit, but uh, other people might think it's weird that a grown old man is hanging out with a child. Is that old man about to molest that child? Bruh, I just came up with the best idea ever. All we gotta do is kill those two chicks that gave you a blowjob, and then it'll erase your AIDS. It comes full circle. In fact, don't even say anything. I'm gonna go kidnap those two chicks. You're welcome, bruh! What the fuck? Get us out! You gave me AIDS. We never gave you a blowjob. Yes, you did. If he didn't get AIDS from you, then how do you get AIDS, huh? Tell me that, wise people. Because you two had sex! What? Yeah, you two were tweaking on cocaine and hallucinated and started fucking each other. Well, no. Yes! Before that, we tried to have sex with you two, but Marty the dumbass over here thought sex is when a girl pees in a boy's mouth. Isn't that what sex is? No, jackass! Um, I'll be right back. Is it just me or is this newspaper too big? Hey, Gerald! Yeah, Marty? I need some Big Brother advice. What do you do when you have sex with an old man who used to commit crimes and so kind of does and you get AIDS in your penis from it? Hypothetically, if that happened. In that very specific event, I would move to Peru. Gerald, can you fly me to Peru? Or drive, either one. It doesn't matter to me. Wait. Marty, did you have sex with Billy? It was an accident, okay? I was drugged. Where is Billy? In, in that back room. You'll have to excuse me for a moment. I'm back. Why don't we turn on the television? Gerald, what did- I SAID LET'S WATCH THE TV! Today was the 7th anniversary of the infamous child abduction. The victim with three brothers and the kidnapper is this man here. He's been known by many names. Bob, Ryan, Matt, Billy, and much more. Stay safe out there, kids, because this disgusting piece of trash could be heading for you next. Well, I guess we learned a valuable lesson. Brooks before hoes. <laughs>